Wilbur is in a big castle! Count Vladimir and stuffs. We're gonna look at this chest. There are some pretty strange characters here in the gallery, but this one really takes the cake. He's got a key and a wolf. A very unpleasant looking fellow. He looks evil, arrogant and more than a little bit crazy. There are some prick but... Okay, cool. Hmm, a heavy wooden chest with seven seals. Two of them are open. Could be where the book is hidden, but it could also contain the Count's well-protected underwear. Either way, there's no sign of how to open the five remaining seals. I will vote for the Count's well-protected underwear. Ah, there you are, Igor. Prepare dinner for my fiancé. And set the table with all the trimmings. We want to have a romantic meal before withdrawing. The villagers told me that the mad sorcerer Ashcroft Van Buren used to live here. That is correct, until he was hung, drawn and quartered. The wizards and paladins didn't do things by halves, just quarters. <laughs> they took everything that was of interest or value to them. They left the rest here. Was there a book amongst the things left behind? The Sorcerer's Diary. Yes, I found that a few months after I moved in, in a secret desk drawer. No, I mean, uh, more of a magic book, you know, with incantations and such. No, not that I know of. The large chest in the hall looks like it's been there a long time. Is it yours? Van Buren had it built, but now it belongs to me. The painting up there is of him. The chest and the painting are the only things the mages wanted to take with them. But they couldn't. Both are bound to the castle by powerful magic. Ooh, so there must be something important in there. I don't know. I've only been able to open two of the seven seals. Maybe that's where he kept his spell book. Is it valuable? The young ladies are getting ever more demanding these days. And my new line of guano skin cream for the man of the world hasn't done quite as well as I hoped. Master, maybe I can help open in the chest for you. I'm good at that kind of thing. If you wish, as long as it doesn't clash with your other tasks, I want to be sure my little bunny rabbit is properly pampered. Here, this sorcerer's diary. I was able to open the first two seals with the help of this. Thank you, Master. But just like playing along, just like as easy as easier this way. You know much about werewolves. Not particularly. Us and them, uh, we don't get on. Normal wolves, yes. They're the children of the night, and I like standing on the balcony of an evening, listening to them singing. But werewolves, poor souls that have been cursed and can feel nothing but primitive anger and hate. Is there any way to get rid of the curse? Of course, quite easily. You have to kill the werewolf that cursed you in the first place. And if you don't know who it was? Then you can only hope that a friend pumps your head full of silver. No way! Master, this scroll was in the post box. Hmm, from Seastone. Archmage murdered, wanted, blah blah, nothing of any importance. Are you sure? I'm not interested in politics. Kings and archmages come and go. Yeah, yes, yes, you're right. No reason to burden yourself with such things. There's a picture of the archmage and me on the cover. Even if the Count isn't interested in politics, he's not likely to let a wanted murderer work for him. I don't think he, he cares. He would hand me one. over to the Van Burens if he noticed. I don't think he will. I think he doesn't Luckily, care. Luckily, the scroll rolled itself back up. 
Otherwise, the Count may have spotted that his new ego is wanted for murder. Count? Yes, Igor? My name's Wilbur. My servants are all called Igor. Igor, his father Igor, his grandfather Igor, and his father too. Ooh, you certainly had a lot of servants. That's why it's too late now to get used to a new name. I'll call you Igor. I would even give you Igor's old suit, if I had it. And what may I serve you and the young Miss Kiki? For the young lady, a rocket salad with vinegar, oil, and strips of chicken breast. That's what young ladies eat these days. Nothing for me, thank you. Not even a little bite? Maybe later. Until then, I'll make do with a glass of uh, red wine. As you wish, Master. I'll go and find the chef and order the salad. I don't have a chef. I normally order out. But I can't cook. How hard can it be to make a salad with vinegar and oil? Very. Make haste, Igor. Um, mm, very well. Count all of, Master. I saved your fiancée in the forest. She was thrown from a horse and lost her way. The poor child. What luck that nothing happened to her. I've been waiting for her for so long. I... I heard you've been married a few times. Many times. Unfortunately, I've never grown old with any of my lovers. I am cursed. I'm forced to try again every few years with a new young woman. Oh, that's terrible. I'm really sorry. What was it with Igor and his uniform? Your predecessor, Igor, made himself at home in the cellar, Igor. He had a bed, a desk, all his belongings. I think now you're the new Igor. It is all yours. And Igor's uniform? It will be amongst his things. Go and have a look. But be careful. It's dark down there. I could take a candle. I don't think that's a very good idea. They are attracted to light. They? Things that live in the darkness. Igor had due respect for them, and never dared go down there with a light. Perhaps, perhaps the uniform isn't important after all. If you'll excuse me, Master, work calls. Make haste. My little honey bunny has gone upstairs to take a bath, and could come back down at any minute. What is upstairs? Nothing of interest to you. Your place is down here. And tomorrow I'll show you the cellar and the crypt. Uh, I can hardly wait. Let's talk more work, Igor. Not sure I'll be here tomorrow, but sure. This is the table I'm supposed to serve dinner on. With all the trimmings. Huh. <sighs> a few days ago I was a professor of magic in a magic school, and now I'm Igor for a count in the middle of nowhere. The table is pretty old and covered with stains. Won't be good enough to impress the Count's fiance. The table is pretty... Won't... A lovely glass with a thick bottom. Glasses made of perfect transparent glass like this are very rare and expensive. Take them. Or just one. What's this cord for? You can make various bells in the castle ring by pulling it. But there's only one cord. Who needs more? Various bells. Basically just one. More critter. Ooh, the space here isn't just brighter and friendlier than the entrance hall. All the candles make it a lot warmer, too. Not bad, but something is still missing. You are not... joking. 
I think the Count expects a finer layout to impress his fiance. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about. Cutlery. That seems pretty good. The worms cannot comprehend my genius. That is why they say I'm insane. Rutherford does not trust us. He will deceive us, I know. He will be the first to die once we have the power of the Nameless One. Who is Rutherford? Hmm. Here is a drawing of the various seals. Hmm. There's something written next to each seal. No one is smarter than I. I have devised a chest for my most valuable possession with seven seals that only I can open. Each seal can be opened only in a very special manner and only I know how. Each mechanism is more clever than the one before. And there's a list describing how each seal is opened. Ha! <laughs> it's a good thing the sorcerer was so proud of his work. The second seal is opened with the blood of innocence. The seal is already opened. Maybe the Count cut his finger peeling potatoes and then he touched the seal. Only the hand of the truly greatest sorcerer of all time can open this seal. The third seal will only open when the word open is spoken in Rattish. Only those who feel insatiable hunger can open the fourth seal. Hmm, the fourth seal is already open. No idea how the Count managed that one. He never eats anything. The fifth seal can only be opened by the breath of death. Yeah, death breath. <laughs> the sixth seal is opened by the invisible key that is visible to all. Only one of worthy heart can open the seventh and final seal. I'm presuming this is going to be Wilbur. Breath, death could be zombie. Oh no, no, no. no. Once all seven magic seals have been released, the chest can be opened. You may have to shake the lid a little, it sometimes sticks. Lol. Two seals are already open. Five are still closed. The note should help me. Yep. Are these just decorative plates or can they be used? Nate once ate fried potatoes off of the Queen's face in Elfborough. Ivo's mother was not amused. <laughs> Igor, be more careful. I didn't do anything. The plate just flew off the wall. I've lived here for ten years. Castle Orofstein has never been haunted. Weird. I would like to use this key as the invisible key that everyone can see. Incense? Not something I really expected to find in a place this old. On the other hand, maybe the Count also noticed that it sometimes smells a little mouldy and musty in here. Incense? Not on... Probably. Uh, no, nothing of interest. Wilbur, his hat says. Clean plate. Heavy glass. Nope. Maggots? These fat maggots are about the right size, but they don't look much like fried chicken. They're slightly transparent and really slimy. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is something similar to Rocket. Yay! Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Wait, did that just change? I find it odd that Count Olaf bought a castle in the dark woods. Most old people love the heat and the sun. There's not a lot of either here. Maybe it burns easily. Okay, this was not what it looked like before. This has changed drastically. It was like the critter thing before. Now it's angel thing? What? See what we can do. We can look at things. Bottle of wine. Hmm. The count seems to be a wine lover. Red wine, to be exact. Seems to me the count doesn't need a servant for his wine. 
He refills the glass himself. Hmm, the count. All right. Uh, sure. Vinegar and oil. Oh, okay, that one definitely changed too. Okay, actually. Am I nuts? Or are those paintings different from before? This has also changed. This was a lady before. The pictures don't seem to be alive like in the Mage Tower in Seastone, but they seem to constantly change. Hmm, very handy if you have more paintings than space on the walls. Very true, though. Try opening some seals. The Count has opened the first two seals using the instructions in the diary. That leaves five. This seal will only open to one with a worthy heart. Maybe I can. Hmm. Master Alistair always says that my heart is in the right place, but apparently that's not good enough for this seal. Cool. Although. Van Buren was an evil sorcerer. He wouldn't have been able to open the seal either if Worthy Heart meant someone decent. True. He could have meant exactly the opposite. Someone who's devious, mean and nasty. Very true. This seal is opened by an invisible key that is visible to all. What could that be? According to this diary, this seal can only be opened by the breath of death. I've met death before. We were even business partners for a bit. But then he wasn't too happy with me for quite a while. That may be because the Death and Gnome Live Burial Co. was never a success. Or it could have something to do with my having buried him and then forgetting to dig him up again. Well, you know. The seal is supposed to open when you say the word open in Rattish. Obviously, Van Buren spoke more languages than I do. We need Timmy for that. The truly greatest mage of all time. Who could that have been for an egomaniac like Ashcroft Van Buren? Himself. Archmage Alistair? Or... <gasps> of course! He means himself! Which... Which presents a problem? <laughs> well... Maybe just a tiny teensy weensy one. Igor pitched camp down there in the cellar. And because of them, he never took a light down there with him. Oh, apparently we're going down there. I did not mean to do that. Whoopsie. Ah, matches, scented candles, barbecue sauce without garlic. Oh, shopping list. And this? Eastwards till you reach the dead beetles, then north until it echoes. Further to the west to the broken water pipe, and then directly north to where the odorless gas is. Now eastwards to the creaking board, then follow the corridor northwards. Hmm, an orientation aid from old Igor. I'll take that. Hey, the letters are glowing. Igor thought it through and wrote it in magic ink. Cool. Okay, how did we start? I read it? Yeah, okay. Eastwards till you reach the dead beetles, then north until it echoed. For now okay. Dead beetles. Maybe? Dead beetles? Hmm, a dead end. I guess I missed the dead beetles. Where are the dead beetles? How do I know if I'm seeing dead beetles? Where are there dead beetles? Seriously, how do I know if I'm seeing dead beetles? Hmm, a 
dead end. Seriously? <laughs> Wilbur, please tell me if you're seeing dead beetles. How the crap do I know if I'm seeing dead beetles? I'm just gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. Eastwards till you reach the dead beetles, then north until it echoes. Further to the west to the broken water pipe, and then directly north to where the odorless gas is. Now eastwards to the creaking board, then follow the corridor northwards. Echo? Oh, it's cold here. Not echoing. Oh my gosh, I'm so stuck. Man. Oh, it's cold here. Okay. I can't even find the dead beetles. I don't even see anything. Like, Wilbur, how do I know if there are dead beetles? You have to tell me if there are dead beetles here somewhere. Well, okay, we're not doing that right now. Because. What? <sighs> right. Um. Oh, I changed again. Oh, hello. Fascinating? Maybe? Sort of? Okay, upwards then. My master, uh, I, I mean the Count, has forbidden me to go up there. And I think I'll listen to him. The castle's pretty ramshackle and the book should be in the chest anyway. Cool. Go to camp. Wilbur! I knew I could find the way back from the castle. And I almost didn't fall into two crevices, or the same one twice. Well done. You almost didn't fall, really? Esther? Yes? That took it out of them, didn't it? Yes. They have to recharge their batteries. You should have a bit of a rest too, Wilbur. You must be exhausted. Do you want me to make you something to eat? You look thoughtful. I was just thinking about what a lucky woman I am. I've got a partner who loves me and a wonderful son. Everyone is healthy and we're all together. You only think about these things when something bad happens. Or nearly happens. I think the book is in a large chest in the castle. A chest sealed with seven seals. Can I help? Would you happen to know how to say open in Rattish? Mm, no, not a clue. Timmy never spoke to me in Rattish. Nor Ethel, for that matter. Hmm, yes. Presumably they only speak their language amongst themselves. I have these thick, slimy, white maggots here. Ah, I know those things. Had one of them stuck in my left nostril for two whole days when my head was chopped off. Ugh, ugh. Um, I thought maybe you could fry them. Is there something wrong with my sausages? No, no, I just need light-coloured meat for a salad. As long as I don't have to eat them. Give them here. Ooh. Thank you, Esther. 
That was the last one. Ooh, those don't look too bad at all. Thank you. About your offer of food. Uh, I've been hungry since we got here. Then I'll make you a sausage. Thank you. These are Timmy's favourite sausages. I wanted to surprise him with them tonight. I will help him, Esther, I promise. I know. Just be careful with the little fella. Uh, as long as he's careful with me. Ready. Careful. Hot. Ow! Ooh! Ah! Thanks. <gasps> Timmy's favourite. Can I have another sausage? But of course. This place is growing on me, you know. Now that the ghost stuff is all gone. You're not a city zombie, are you? People need to get used to us. Big cities always have a constant stream of new people to get to know. Here in the country, you only have to convince each person once that you don't want to chew the skin off their faces. Ready. Careful. Hot. Ow! Ooh! Ah! Thanks. See you later, Esther. I have to go. Bye. Cool. We have... Eat it, Wilbur. Eat it. Ah, I needed that. A few hours sleep would be lovely too. But first, I have to get that book. Oh, we still have the sausage. Cool. The fire's still burning brightly. Esther won't let it go out all night, that's for sure. Like father, like son. They deserve some rest after the last few days. Half burnt wood, ash and bits of charcoal beside the fire. We should put things in order here before we leave. Cool. All right. Oh. I have a long trip home ahead of me once I get that book from the chest. I don't know whether any of the others will join me. I'm sure they all would if I asked them. But things could get dangerous in Seastone and I don't want any of them getting hurt. Um, we can go over here, actually. I want to go to the cave. See if there's any stuffs here for funsies. Ooh. Stuff. It's sad when you think that none of these things can ever be used by their owners again. Who knows who this flute used to belong to? I'm sure he or she would have loved to have played it for many years more. Maybe I can give it a new purpose. I wonder whether the fear drank the wine. Or was it the last sip of some unfortunate soul here? I got some new wine. Ugh. Ew. The wine must have been here quite a while. It's gone really sour. <gasps> Vinegar! Sort of. Ooh, we don't have to go through the... Can't even go here anymore or there. That's funny. I wanna go talk to peeps in the village. Well, one peeps in the village, rather. Hello. Mr. Whale looks less anxious and stressed, even with the big task ahead of him, filling the village with life again. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello, Mr. Weathervane. And? How is life without fear? Oh, it feels good. I've finally got time to recruit new inhabitants for the village. Glad to hear it. I thought about putting an ad in the paper. Somberville. Deserted village in cursed region seeks citizens to occupy houses of previously abducted and murdered villagers. How does that sound? Um, I don't know. Not too good. My friends up at the campfire could move into one of the houses. They're very nice, and Gulliver and Nate are skilled craftsmen. They could get the village back into shape in no time. I don't think that we want their type here. But that's unfair! Just imagine that you're a family man and have never done anything wrong in your entire life. You and your wife have always worked hard, you have a great son, and then you come to a village that's urgently looking for residents. Yes, but they're zombies. So what? Imagine a zombie village that doesn't want you and your wife and child because you're different. What would you think of people like that, huh? Well, you can't really... <laughs> I suppose I could talk to your friends. You, you, you do that! God, I'm so over this zombie racism. Ah! 
Do you by any chance sell lettuce? No! This is an adventure shop. Adventurers don't eat salad. They go into the woods and slay wild boar. Yeah. Uh, then you probably don't have any chicken breast fillets either, do you? No. And salad dressing? Oil? Vinegar? Again, no. Well, actually, I do have oil. Some warriors like rubbing it into their muscles to make them glisten in the sun. <laughs> then I'll have that, then. Oh, I'll even give it to you for free if you promise not to rub it on yourself in front of me. Mm. Oh, he won't. Uh, thanks. After the sorcerer was chopped up, where did you bury his bits? Oh, you know, here and there. Not all in one grave? Oh, no. It was feared that his brother or someone else could try to bring him back to life. So his remains were spread nice and neatly across several graves over the land, and none of them carries his name. <laughs> is part of the sorcerer buried in the cemetery? Uh, I'm, um, not at liberty to say. We swore never to say a word about which grave his left hand is buried in and which holds his right leg. <gasps> oh! Oh, come on, just say it. Which grave's he buried in? My lips are sealed. Why was Van Buren actually beheaded, hung, and drawn, and quartered? Isn't that a little excessive? Uh, you always have to kill an evil mage or sorcerer three times so he doesn't come back. Everyone knows that. Um, doesn't beheading him and then hanging him present certain logistical problems? Well, the, the whole thing wasn't very well prepared. Some mages wanted to ram a wooden stake through his heart instead. Uh, others wanted to burn him. Uh, you know how it is. An angry mob, differing opinions. Uh, in the end, we can count ourselves lucky he was executed at all. Do you know how to say open in Rattish? Oh, well, I could let you know what are you trying to take the piss is in the language of the dark woods. I was only asking. I think I'll be going now. Oh, how's Miss Kiki? Has she sunk her claws in the count yet? What? What do you mean by that? Oh, come on, Wilbur. A hottie like Miss Kiki? She's just a gold digger. The count will need to watch his back. But, but, but they love one another. They met through a newspaper ad and... And it's not very nice to think that of other people, Mr. Whale. Tut, tut. I think she'll have to look out. With the count, too. Should I no. buy a souvenir? Mm, no. My pockets are always so full of junk anyway. True. Even without fear, he won't get rid of his goods anytime soon. The only people for miles are Mr. Whale, Count Orlov, and Miss Kiki. And she didn't seem very impressed by his stock. True. Hello? I think the Archmage hmm. is Must trying to communicate with him. Uh, right, we'll go check out the graveyard and, you know, other stuff in the next episode, so thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya!